Growing up in the Keys, I remember, you know, weekends and summers, you know, out at the reef, at the beach, uh, cruising around with my brother and my mom and dad in the boat. And I just remember the first time snorkeling on the coral reef and, you know, the crackling and popping and how alive the whole place felt and, uh, and how it looked, with all the spectacular colors. And I've watched it, you know, over the 35 years or so that I can remember being on the water. Uh, and I've watched it, you know, diminish over time. Um, I mean, I grew up here in the 80s, diving and fishing these waters. And through the last 10 or 20 years, as cruise ship traffic increased, we've all seen the decay of our ecosystem in the cloudy waters. The Surf Rider Foundation has chapters all around the country, and our chapter specifically has more coastline than any other chapter, and how unique it is with the reefs and the mangroves and the different tropical ecosystems here. And with that, we have ocean livelihoods that depend on these ecosystems. So we've had a really great response from the community in community action and really caring about what happens to the ocean waves and beaches here because the health of this ecosystem really translates into the health and the well-being of the livelihoods here, their living and quality of life here. In Key West, we have a, a small, narrow channel that you know really can't accommodate uh, the vessels of, of that class size, you know, the mega cruise ships. So what happens is their propeller wash kind of chews up the bottom and that creates a silt plume and it activates, you know, some of the, the, the captured, you know, acids and, and, and bad things that are underneath uh, the sediment layers there and lifts them up and deposits them onto the reef and then onto the seagrass and hard rock habitats that really are the you know the place where the fish fish go and the, the little critters live and everything that keeps the the ecosystem alive so it's really kind of a, a a point source you know water quality disaster there in Key West and in Key West is a really important place we sought out a, a compromise position and, and that's when we came up with these um, limits that, that address uh, basically the size of the ship that can come in, the number of people that can disembark each day, uh, and give priority um, to ships with better environmental records, better public health records. Um, so we ended up putting three referendums to the ballot addressing those points. And all three of those referendum passed. Uh, the lowest passed, I think, was 62% vote, and the highest, which was the environmental uh, referendum, passed with about 81 percent of, of the voters. So uh, with that, it was a really clear message to me that, that I needed to support the residents of the city of Key West. We've had a lot of preemptions to home rule, which means that legislators in Tallahassee believe that they have a better understanding of what happens in your community than you do. And they feel that they know uh, uh, how to legislate better than you do or your people do. So we've had quite a time uh, this session in Tallahassee. You know, it, 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 it's funny that um, what we've seen in the debate in Tallahassee is an echoing and a repeat of all the same lines uh, that were debated uh, fully community-wide uh, for about six months. We saw mailers come out saying that if, if the cruise ship referendums pass, Nobody's gonna answer 911. You know, you're gonna get stalked on Smathers Beach and murdered and there'll be no cops to help you out. But those were, were a little over the top lies that maybe worked in our favor because people saw them uh, through them pretty easily and quickly. They, they were also saying down here on the local level that, that um, you know, the business community was against that and, and you, you clearly don't get the kind of vote results that we got without the business community um, being in support. Um, in, 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 uh, in a great extent. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a small business owner. I started this business back in 2009. Uh, I've been doing it for 12 years now. Uh, I employ anywhere from 10 to 12 people. Um, and, and the pandemic and the shutdown was really hard. Um, there was a lot of anxiety, a lot of economic anxiety happening. Um, since then, you know, we've, we've continued to learn that all of those claims were, were nothing more than, than simple lies. I mean, business is thriving down here. Uh, I've been busier than ever. Uh, my friend down at Island Bikes said it's like New Year's Eve every day for six months straight now. And, and that's, that's certainly 
how it feels uh, to be down here in the, in the service industry at that time. I mean, people love Key West. We have a great brand um, and, and people are responding to and, and will continue to respond uh, to communities that, that make the right choices for their own resiliency um, and, and that tell the world that we care about our community. And that, those are destinations that people want to go to. It's clear um, that it's, it's the right move for our community and our, and our long-term economic benefit. You know, voting is probably the most sacred and precious part of our democracy, and we encourage people to vote. We tell them that every vote counts, every voice should be heard. Well, the citizens of Key West voted overwhelmingly on three referenda that passed by a landslide that asked that we change the way we do business with cruise ships. Uh, and our population was happy for that. I truly believe that the sole purpose of legislatures in Tallahassee is to put forth their individual home rules. Every, every municipality, every town is different. Key West and Orlando have different wants and needs. St. Pete and Cedar Key, uh, Pensacola and Tampa, I could go on and on. But the reasons we have representation in Tallahassee is to pass forth the wishes and the vote of our citizens. Our citizens voted to change the way we do business overwhelmingly. I find it totally unreal that the legislative body is now trying to usurp that vote from our citizens. It's just not right. And here's an issue. It's a cautionary tale. Today, somebody votes to introduce a bill that affects the way our life is in Key West. Tomorrow, somebody may vote to do something in your district that you don't like. You pass this bill, and it's going to come right back and bite you in the, in the butt. We had our voices heard about an issue that matters to our environment, that matters to the way I make my living, support my family, and they want to preempt that and take my voice and my right away. And that's just messed up, man. I mean, my great, 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 great grandfather threw tea off a boat in a port because they were being taxed without representation. And here we are in a port talking about a boat and not having our voices heard and being represented. So guess what? We're gonna keep fighting. This isn't going away. We're not gonna stop fighting because this is how we are. This is the way we live and this is what we're gonna stand up for. And you know what? That's what our country is founded on.